Hello, today I'm reviewing the T-File Cook For Me Connect, kindly sent to me by AO.com to review. Um, their delivery, I have to say, is as usual outstanding, giving me notification several times by email and on the morning of the delivery, they gave me a one hour slot when it was going to arrive. Um, as a busy working mum, I'm always looking for new ways in which I can cook meals that are quick, healthy, and um, having read the reviews, I was really excited to see just how good their cooker really was. The main difference between the Cook For Me and the Cook For Me Connect is the um, actual connectivity with the cooker, um, available via an app on your phone. Uh, there is a compatibility with this. As you can see, it has to be a minimum of iPhone 4S or newer, and it can also be downloaded on Google Play. Um, Android 4.3. All this information is on the box when you buy it and I, I would assume it was on the website as well. Um, so let me show you a bit about the app before I turn the The, the app is downloadable on your phone. Um, so I'm going to turn the cooker on and show you just how it works. Right, so there's the cooker going on and as you can see it's connecting and it's now connected with my phone. So you've got all your recipes on there. Um, the cooker already comes with that with um, 50 recipes that are already downloaded. So if I go into the app, you can see I've got the recipes, my favorites. I'll go through them all now for you. So recipes, and then you'll have a whole list of recipes there that you can choose from. Some of these are not on the um, cooker, which is why it's it's um, the Connect version. And you can download these onto the cooker to use for a later date. Um, you go to your top recipes. So these are the ones that people have rated. So they've put, decided that, you know, they've cooked it and they've tried it and they like it. So if I press farmer's chicken, you can see that's a five star. Um, some of these have reviews at the bottom. People have commented on how they felt, how they cooked with it. Um, like someone's there, really enjoyed this. Added some corn flour to thicken the sauce, would recommend it. So if I go back a bit into the menu, you've also got cooking techniques, which will go through a lot of things. I mean, most of it would be obvious to some people, but if you're a novice cooker, it, it might be helpful. And then what I liked about this was my shopping lists. So I've got recipes that I have tried, um, I have loaded. I haven't had the machine long, so not many yet. But just for example, these um, chicken and rice. So I'm out shopping, I've decided I wanted to cook chicken and rice that night. I don't have the ingredients, so therefore it's there, ready for me. I can go and get the ingredients I want, go home, cook it. Very simple. It did have a few other items on there. There was ginger on there. Uh, my family are not fond of ginger, so that was just deleted and omitted from the recipe. Um, which is a good thing about the cooker, is the fact that you can do that. And you can change it to your likes and dislikes. So I'm going to show you a rest how you download it onto the, um, onto the thingy. I've got one here that I hadn't done earlier. So if I go right... Chicken cockatoo. So it shows you on here that's for two people. We're a large family of seven. Um, it says up to six, but I've actually found that six is quite enough for a for a family of seven, and it's seven hungry people. So you know the, it, it's ample enough for those for that amount of people. So I want to start cooking it on the app now. So I've got the it there. I'll try and show you both at the same time. So if I press play, so it's saying um, download recipe, it's not at the moment on it, would I like to transfer it? Yes. So as you can see, it's now downloading the recipe onto my Cook For Me Connect. Um, it doesn't take that long. Go, it's downloaded and that's simple. So if I now want to do that recipe, it's all on there, so I can then keep 
I've got the recipe list on my phone which tells me all the ingredients and I've also got the recipe has started on the, on the T-File Connect. So if I go back and show you some of the things on here. Right, so on the main, on the main menu you've got your ingredients. So these are the things you can cook manually. Meat and chicken, fish and shellfish, fruit and veg, rice and cereals. Um, I did cook rice, so I pressed the rice button. We chose white rice, white rice long grain, and I did 500 grams. Now at this point, it didn't tell you how much liquid to put in, but fortunately, uh, the booklet that comes with it gives you a guide to the amount of liquid that should be in. So I use that as a guide, and I put that in. So it'll say cover with ingredients. Okay. And then the cooking time was nine minutes. Now I did find with this nine minutes, after nine minutes, I wasn't happy with the way it cooks. But I suppose it's preference depending on whether you want it well cooked or not. Um, so I did just restart it manually and I cooked it a bit longer. But the beauty of this is now that I know that, in future, I can just increase my cooking time until I find a space. I think it's one of those cookers that over time you will learn what's right for you and how you like to cook it. So if we go back, all right, so I've got my recipes. So all my recipes, starter, side, main dish and dessert. So if we go on to the main dish, um, a beef and ale casserole. Again, that's on the app. If I wanted to just download it straight away, that would be fine. Um, I'll just show you again on there how I would do that. So I've got my app. I want to make a cod loin and prawn sauce. I'm going to send that to my cook for me tea file. Um, oh, that one's not downloaded. I think they've recently done an update, so this would be why a lot of these recipes aren't on there. Um, they do update the recipes often, so. You know, they, you, there will be more that you can use in the future. And there we go, simple. Now I can start cooking. I think for a novice cooker, it's it's perfect because it's so simple to use. So in, in this, okay, do you want to start the cooking? Yes, in this case, no, because I haven't got anything to cook. So, and it tells you, what I did notice about this is um, on the... On the actual cooker itself, it'll tell you preparation time 10 minutes and cooking 5 minutes, which would equate to 15 minutes. However, if you look at the app, um, you've, you've sort of got to take into the tart into account that there could possibly be the browning um, or the preparation, which generally adds 5 to 10 minutes to your time. So bear that in mind when you're cooking. Um, right, so if we go back a bit. Um, so yeah, so that's that's easy. Now my libraries, this is a bit where the um, connect comes in. These are all the recipes that are not on the cooker initially when you buy it. So you have to download the app and then download the recipes. And as new recipes come, as you've just seen, you download it onto there. So main dish, um, I'm going to go for a ham and ricotta cake. So for six persons or you six person because I've downloaded off the app that'll be my preference for that one so and then you've got this so some of the recipes already because I've stipulated for six people that's how much it'll do um, so corn risotto for six people okay and then it'll tell me the preparation time is 10 minutes okay it'll give me the ingredients uh, because these are on the app, the ingredients will come up on the app as well. Um, but what another thing I noticed is if you go into the um, if you go into your recipes that are already loaded and go into the main dishes. So I'm choosing in this meat, beef madras curry, um, six, four, or two people. So for six people, 
Um, preparation of the cookie. Okay, it's given me the list of ingredients. Now, as you start cooking, um, these ingredients don't come up again. So it would be an idea to pre-prepare them before you start cooking. Because um, chances are you'll have forgotten what the ingredients are. So, okay, do you want to start the recipe? Yes. So it tells you to add the oil and then it'll consequently tell you to brown and then it'll tell you when to close the lid. It will tell you um, that it's preparing to cook and then it'll tell you it's cooked and it's ready. So simple to use. So just go into the uh, manual menu. Right, so I cooked... Um, a few things in the week. Um, chicken tikka masala was one of them. Now on the recipes it tells you to cook it for, it'll cook for in three minutes. I was sceptical, I thought, three, you know, chicken in three minutes. Um, for this recipe particularly, it wasn't cooked enough for us. So I did have to cook it for longer. Um, so rather than do that twice, what I might, what I would suggest is, since you know what the ingredients are, and since you've got the app that tells you the ingredients, um, you could go to the manual menu, you could turn it to classic cooking, which you, um, there, and then you go to browning. I won't click it now because it'll start. And then you could brown it, brown the chicken as you would in the original recipe, then go to the pressure cooking, and then put in the amount of minutes that you, uh, that you would like it to be cooked. So I think over time, as you get used to the cooker and using it, um, you'll find you'll get a lot more out of it. Um, so, so on here, like I said, you've got your pressure cooking, your classic cooking. Um, it has got a keep warm feature, so when your food's cooked, it will stay warm um, for quite a while afterwards. So if you're not quite ready to eat. Um, but the cooker itself... It, it, it is rather big, um, as you can see it takes up quite a lot of room on the work surface. Um, not saying that I wouldn't have it because I absolutely love it. But I did find, because my work surfaces are out from the top, um, I do have to put it on the edge of the unit. Um, which is not such a problem because I've got older children. Um, and it does, doesn't get hot on the outside. Um, because as you open the lid, as you can see... It just about misses the um, top, but it's it's a minor thing. Um, inside you also get your basket. This is a steaming basket, so this would be for your veg. This always has to go inside the pot at all times. Never actually put it inside without the pot. Um, the pot's really simple. It just comes out. So I'm going to put it out a bit more. So, as I said, the pot just comes out, lifts out. Um, very simple to clean. It does say you can put it in the dishwasher, although after reading lots of the reviews, they do suggest that maybe you hand wash it. Um, not that it will do any damage to the dish, but it, it could tarnish the outside. Um, so, it's just, just to keep it in a nice condition, I would do that. Cleaning, so simple. You pull this out, give it a quick hand wash. At the top here... You've got a plate. All you do is unscrew the lid here and the plate comes out. Now, I'll show, if I show you here, it's a little bit difficult with one hand, but I'll do my best. This turns. Right. This turns and clips off. So that would just be hand washed. And then you turn it over. And it's got a simple ball clip valve here. So you unlock it, take the ball out, give that a simple wash. And then this, you can either hand wash or pop in the dishwasher. That's it, comes out clean, give it a thorough dry, pop the ball back on, click it back into place. Turn it over. Pop this back on, just squeeze it and clip. And then it just places back into the machine. And then screw it back on. 
mean, it's that simple. I've done it with one hand, which is <laughs> not so easy, but it's just to show you it is really simple to use. And then close the lid. They recommend you keep the lid open when not in use and um, just to stop it smelling, which is fine. You've got your lid open and close. And on the back here, you have a condenser, not a condenser, but a, a condenser catcher, which is full of water. But you're supposed to empty that after every use and then pop it back. So um, I love this cooker. We have used it quite a lot of times. Um, I have to say my children who are normally fussy eaters have ate everything that I've given them with no problem. Um, it, the, the way that it connects to the cooker is great. It means that I, if I'm in the front room and the cooker's on, I can also see how it's cooking. It'll tell me what time it is. So if I don't feel like keep getting up and checking, that's fine. But even if you haven't got the, even if you haven't got the um, connect on, once it's cooked, it keeps it warm anyway. Um, which is the beauty in the difference between popping it in the oven and popping it in the cooker. If you pop it in the oven, you're constantly backwards and 